Hello everyone. Um, so I decided to go live all of a sudden. I thought I'll just create some painting for you guys. So let's just wait for some time for people to join. And uh, I'm looking forward to create um, oil painting on canvas for all of you guys. I do get a lot of requests asking me to start um, painting and sketching tutorials. Um, what I thought rather than starting from the ABCDs of, you know, uh, sketching and painting, it would be nice if I can directly do a few demonstration for you guys so that, you know, you watch an artist painting something and, you know, you understand and learn from it. Um, that's how I have learned from a lot of great artists just by watching them at work. I think that teaches us a lot. So. That's what I have decided to do, to share whatever I know by creating a painting in front of you so that, you know, you guys um, learn a little bit. And uh, of course, in, in that process, probably I get to learn a lot too. Do let me know if you guys are able to hear me properly. Please uh, mention that in the comment section. Hello, namaste everyone. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's great. That's great. So uh, without wasting much time, um, let's start off with what we have planned for today. Um, you can see I have a canvas ready for you guys. Um, this is a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas and I'm planning to create a landscape in a matter of, uh, well, this is not going to be like a quick speed painting on stage that I usually do. However, this will be a, a fine artwork where I'm going to take about uh, Okay, Kailas Thaiden you matanadi do. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. So I'm going to create an oil painting. Um, uh, I'll quickly show a reference image that I'm planning to create. Um, usually I don't look at my phone and paint. Uh, I keep the reference picture in laptop and paint. However, I decided, all of a sudden decided to go live. So I realized that the laptop camera with which I'm going live, I can't see the camera, I know a screen again if I have to paint. So this is the image that I'm planning to create. You guys can see this. Okay. So this is the reference image. And uh, let's see how it goes. I'm trying to um, do this in a matter of uh, I don't know, probably 45 minutes to one hour. I may not be able to finish it, but I just want to give you guys a feel of how I approach a painting, okay? So I hope that helps you guys. And um, I'm using um, oil painting. So I'm, I have white, I have a red color, I have raw amber on my palette, a black, a magenta, Prussian blue, and sap green. So mostly very basic colors okay nothing fancy a lot of people message me on social media asking sir which paints do you use uh, let me tell you the the kind of paint or the materials that you use uh, that doesn't really decide the quality of your artwork of course i mean the the quality of paint does differ however what matters the most is your ability to paint your uh, skill level right so Let's see how I approach uh, this. And let me tell you, if you guys are painting uh, using acrylic paints, the process is going to be almost same. This is how I approach, um, um, what do you call, acrylic paint as well, because it will be mostly opaque, not exactly like a water paint, right? So it will be mostly opaque. So what I am going to do now is do a quick, reference sketch of this using directly a brush okay you can do this taking a lot of time uh, with a pencil you can do marking no need to use a brush itself however because i want to do this quickly in front of you guys i'm just using a brush okay so okay so what is important here is uh, you know how quickly you guys you can 
uh, use your understanding of the perspectives you know looking at this image the water is all the way up till almost 80 percent of the bottom part of the canvas is covered by water right only the above perhaps 25 percent is covered by the uh, the sky i mean that's how you know the moment i look at it okay that's where the the you know the line is and i go for that quickly and this is how it goes Be i mean please do understand i'm not here you know uh, trying to uh, sketch every minute detail if i see the image closely you know this part has a lot of trees but can i just sit and sketch each and every tree i don't want to do that you know all i want to do is just do an outline of that that's how i approach a painting um it could be really different you know i mean there is definitely no one way of approaching a painting there are actually no rules at all that's that's what i would really want to say the rules are there in the world of art so that you can break it okay so this is i am here i'm trying to fit in the boat while using a brush you know obviously i can't really erase any uh, mistakes if there are any small little mistakes that's fine i'm going to um, correct those mistakes when i'm going to paint over that okay so uh while painting you know try to be i know we are all scared of making mistakes while painting but try to be free don't worry about making mistakes um you should if you know the fact that you know if you make a mistake and you will be able to correct it later then you will be more free to let your arm free and you know try these things okay so that's the boat and uh, that's it i think the sketch that's all i need uh, to do this yeah uh, somebody is asking will this be live recorded of course this is um, of course this is live recorded and this will be there for you guys to see in the future as well i'm not going to delete it after it is done so don't worry about that okay so i what i do while using uh, oil paint is you know i keep a, a tissue paper roll like this so you know so that i can clean my brush of course i clean it with the tissue paper and then i dip it in the turpentine i do both actually all right so i'm going to use a bigger brush right now so mostly these days i'm using all flat brushes nothing fancy these are all very inexpensive brushes you can see this this is easily available in all the art stores in india right so let's start off with the trees i realize the paint is a bit thick so i'm adding uh an oil medium i use something called as a liquin um you know few people use uh, linseed oil i use liquin liquin actually makes your oil paint to dry uh, much much faster uh, so that's what i like about 
liquid is the fact that you know if i have to go over this painting next day or after let's say two days then it will almost be dry whereas if you are using um, linseed oil the oil painting usually doesn't dry after two days So I just filled up the place, um, the space actually, and uh, I'm going much darker here. I'm just referring to the image and I'm seeing uh, where is the darkest dark and I'm just bringing that, the variation in color. To make the green much darker, I'm adding a little bit more of Persian blue. Um, and a bit of red as well that gives more warmth to the color all right That's the shadow part. You can notice how carefree <laughs> I am while painting, right? I'm not going, you know, like so seriously like this. That's what I say. I mean, um, when you're probably practicing or trying to learn, don't be over conscious trying to get this right and all that stuff. Uh, just be free and uh, then you will see the magic happening by the way how many of you who are watching right now have tried oil painting at least once do let me know in the comment section if you have tried oil painting Anyone or no one? Yes. Okay. Ajit is saying yes. Tejas is saying yes. Prajwal is saying yes. Dream Breaker is saying, sir, did you choose art as a career in college? If not, then how did you learn all the values, basic things, brush strokes and everything? Okay. A lot of people are saying, yes, I have tried. I have tried. Fantastic. To answer your question, um, well, this i didn't study art as a full time i mean i i didn't study art at all in any art school um i did uh, master of social work so i was a rank holder in academics i did my usual studies just like many people right um but uh, all that i have done is like a self taught way of learning a lot of practice lot of mistakes see that is also one good thing about the thing is you know because i have not learned anywhere i am not bound by any rules or regulations that okay this is how i have to paint and perhaps that's why i started speed painting if i would have learned in some art college i would have typically followed their own style Okay, so I think we have got some of the darkest value in this entire painting. So that's one more thing guys that you really have to observe when you are painting that when you look at an image, which is the darkest spot in the painting and which is the lightest area, what we call as a value, right? Uh, it has got nothing to do with color. Color is totally different. Value is how dark or how light the area is. So if I look at the reference image, the darkest area is this one, what I have painted now. And the lightest area comes somewhere here and the sky. So the lightest area is going to be somewhere here. What I'm going to do now is quickly uh, block in all these places so that I can create a detail later.
Okay, so it's time to create the sky and the water. So let's do that. Yeah, somebody is saying subscribe. Yes, please do uh, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't done that so. Um, and also, do let me know at the end of this session how do you if the if this really helped you to watch me paint and uh, if yes what do you want me to do in future so that perhaps you know i may decide to do this every week or every once in few days taking different topics and creating a painting right in front of your eyes okay so here uh, i'm using a very basic color as i told you guys that this is prussian blue if you are using um, acrylic paint if your idea is also to create a very uh, opaque looking painting then please do not mix too much of water mix water only when you think okay you are not able to paint much you know like uh, you are not able to drag the paint and it is getting difficult that's when you can just add little bit of water otherwise uh, let the paint be more opaque so it looks really good It's actually a bit difficult for me to uh, look into my mobile and you know paint, but uh, perhaps from next time I will do some arrangement for that. Um, I didn't realize it this time. So here in the shadow uh, space, I have already given uh, you know. So this is where the water starts. Yeah. So I'm just giving a little bit of blue there just to differentiate okay and then fill this space up with this horizontal you know brush strokes just enough to create that kind of uh, the movement of water okay yeah As we move down towards this area, I notice that you know the water is more like it has a bit of it turns more towards turquoise blue. It has a lot of uh, green mixture as well. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of green, or you can also add a little bit of yellow to your blue, so that you get you know this color. Now this is not exactly blue. This is more like a a mixture of green and blue looks like turquoise blue isn't it so that's what i'm doing here and same with this place as well so So you can notice that you know this is more um, green here, and then as we move upwards, this turns towards uh, blue. Because if the water is really transparent, and if it is when you when you stand close to it, you can see what is underneath, isn't it? So uh, more like a transparent. Uh, effect
hope you guys are enjoying watching the painting live i will try to um, you know uh, try to fix a camera next time in a better way so that you know you guys can watch it more uh, clearly all right so i'm going to take a slightly a uh, smaller brush once again a flat brush and uh, what i am trying to do here is create an illusion of you know some stone underneath the water because this is more like transparent By the way, this paint where I'm uh, doing this effect, this is still wet because this is oil painting, right? If this was uh, acrylic, then this would have dried by now. Um, and uh, both has its own challenges. Um, plus and minus will always be there. It's not easy also to paint wet on wet. It's like a slippery space, isn't it? And when you paint right on top of another wet paint, it requires a little bit of practice. Once you start doing it, you will be more uh, comfortable doing that. So, is this space creating a kind of illusion that you can see underneath the water. Guys, let me know in the comment section. Okay, yes. Sir, do you like acrylic painting? What do you think about it and where do you get your uh, reference? Reference, well, the reference can come from anywhere. I mean, you also have to be careful not to create a painting out of, a, you know, some photograph and sell it. Because, you know, a photographer will have a copyright for that image, right? Uh, better would real photographic reference. Of course, just for practice like this, you can do it. But to sell your artwork I'm talking about. So in that case, you can do your own photography. You don't really have to buy an expensive camera also these days. You can just use your phone and uh, take some amazing pictures. Um, or if you can paint just from your memory, nothing like it. But yeah, um, I love um, acrylic painting as well because it is Quick drying, I can do some. Okay, so a lot of detail has already been done. I think we should move on to the other space here just to add a little bit. This is a much darker space, so I don't want to add much uh, detail here, but yeah, just a bit to give you that effect. All right, so I'm running out of a uh, couple of paints. Uh, the yellow paint that is on my on my palette has already has got over. So I'm I'm using these tubes. These are a mixture of different brands. I have Camel, I have Winston and Newton, I have 
something called as a rembrandt rembrandt is a super expensive paint actually i bought it when i was traveling out of country i just bought it uh, you know just to test it out uh, those are really expensive paints well oil painting itself is expensive right that's why i was not doing oil painting till recently i mean when i was a kid when i was studying i didn't have enough money to buy uh, oil paint but let me tell you i mean you can create this similar kind of effect um doing acrylic painting as well okay so here we are this much is done now so what do we have to do we will have to uh, fill up the space we have to create sky now remember that the sky color here in this particular image is a much lighter blue than the water so i am adding a uh, more white color for persian blue Usually how long do you guys take to complete a painting like this let me know in the comment section then i will tell you guys how much time do i take to finish a painting like this yeah anybody 2 hours 2 and 1/2 hours that is quick good guys don't worry if you are someone who takes like 2 days or 3 days somebody is saying 20 minutes wow <laughs> someone is saying 5 to 6 hours 5 to 6 hours okay here i am lagging almost 5 to 6 hours no definitely you are not lagging who said it they just don't worry the time taken to complete a painting is not the measure of how successful you are okay at the end of the day the painting has to look great that's it you take 5 days you take 2 days or you take 2 minutes doesn't matter i am not do we are not doing a performance right on stage remember the fact that see because i perform on stage i have to paint really really fast otherwise if you are painting at home there is no hurry i mean it all depends on your personal choice a uh, few people by nature they don't want to sit for too long and they just want to finish the painting quickly and all that i'm i'm one of those guys who tend to paint much faster however uh, for something like this i would say even i may take 3 hours or slightly longer and that is perfectly okay okay so for the same color mixture i am adding more blue and adding a little bit of um magenta so now this creates um a purple kind of effect now you can see that here i think i'll have to add that's a bit too dark so let me add a little bit more of uh, white a magenta and a little bit of um prussian blue okay here it is this is a hill which is like really far away okay i'm sure all of you know the very basics of perspectives right an object which is like really further away tends to go 
tends to have more of blue shade to it because it's like really uh, far. Even if you have a, a red color in that or a brown color in that uh, hill, it won't be visible when you stand like that far. That tends to fade and everything looks as if it is like a blue. That's why the hills which are like really far away looks blue, isn't it? But when you go close, is it blue? No, definitely not. There is all kind of colors out there. So painting is all about understanding uh, these uh, secrets of this nature and applying to your painting. Okay, so if I have to create a texture here, um, I will be adding more of blue and um, magenta and you know, create one more layer here of slightly darker, same color, but slightly darker. So that gives you an effect of another mountain range and uh oh. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, so I think the only area that is left blank in the canvas as of now is that of the uh, boat. Sir, how do you like smooth prints of your canvas on? How do you take smooth prints of your paintings on canvas? Prints? Well, of course, I don't do that. You have to find a best printer in your town and uh, you know, it's different to have a printer, which is like a usual printer, where you go and take a Xerox copy, not that. I'm talking about a printer who is expertised in doing art prints. So find out in your town and uh, they can take art prints either on canvas or on paper as well. Okay. Okay. So... One more observation here, guys. Um, while doing it, I just realized it. So this boat is actually of a warm color. This is like a dark uh, brown color boat. However, some of these shadings, which I just did it here, right? But this is a blue color. So you have to observe all these small little differences in color shades while painting. Now, nobody will be able to teach you that. 
it all depends on your observation so the more you sharpen your observation skills the better artist you will become Hmm, a lot of detail. <laughs> okay. there is all sorts of color in this uh, boat you know when i um, observe closely it has a bit of blue it has a bit of purple dark dark brown a lot of color, color variation okay i think here is the darkest point of the entire painting this area i think this is the darkest area of the entire painting so you should know while painting which area you will have to go really dark which area you should go light now that creates the visual effect and that's how you create a beautiful painting imagine if you don't go that dark here this painting will never get the kind of vibrancy it really requires and the depth you create the illusion of a depth you create the illusion of a boat of water and everything else in nature by playing with this darks and lights so you can notice i'm doing you know this rather very fast taking decisions you know quickly i'm not taking a lot of time to sit back think decide and all that right so i'm taking these decisions really really quickly looking at the image and doing it much faster i'm not saying you have to paint faster but uh whatever works for you
but if there is one thing that you have to improve uh, to be able to become a fantastic artist is your ability to observe Sir can do watercolor. Yes, I have, of course. I mean, I started off doing watercolor, uh, but these days uh, I haven't done watercolor. It's been really a long time. I'll try to do it someday. But my the first thing that I did when I was a kid, the first painting medium that I started off with was, of course, watercolor, and I love the medium. This that is simply amazing. All right, so I think like a basic color has already been given to the boat. Why not digital painting? I don't know. Somehow that doesn't really feel personal when you do a, you know, actual painting. For me, I think that gives me a lot of satisfaction. Anyways, so I will have to load a white color once again. This is taking a lot of paint. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is uh, trying to give. So now the entire canvas has already been filled, right? So now my idea is to give those um, lighter shades or dark, you know, make those changes slightly dark, slightly light, and all that stuff. Though I have already done, you know, uh, the basic color as light and dark. Still, I want to go further and create that um, much detailed effect. Okay. As we move again, as I told you right in the beginning, we have more of green here. So the, the shading also has a bit of yellow touch to it. Okay, once I do that, I will definitely have to wash my brush or uh, clean my brush or change the brush because I have already touched the yellow color. And if I try to go here with the clean blue color, you know, again, the yellow color will dominate, right? And uh, the painting will be spoiled. So it's it's quite important to keep your brush clean. Well, while Painting fast, of course, you know, that becomes a challenge, but yeah, as much as you can. So I'm not trying to finish this entire painting um, 
today i just wanted to demonstrate how i approach you know a painting so just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of how it is being done So this part is the um, the lightest area of this entire canvas, I would say, the one which I'm painting right now. I may have to use a smaller brush as I go further down into the water because it requires slightly finer uh, brush strokes. So I'll do that slightly later and I'll move on to the this part of the canvas to do whatever I can before I move on to the small brush. Okay, while I'm using a bigger brush, let me also... Um, create a bit of effect here in the sky. Mm -mm. I think I have to use a different brush. <laughs> okay. Okay. A bit of cloud. Mm -hmm. That is too light, so I'm adding a bit of more blue. Okay, I think this looks fine. Um, I'm not really again, you know, just creating an impression of a forest there. That's it. I'm not getting into the detail of each and every tree as such. Uh, this just creates an illusion. Well, at the end of the day, what is a painting? It is nothing but an illusion that you create that, okay, something is alive, something is out there, right? So just using that into full force and that is it. Hope you guys are enjoying this session. Thank you so much for those who have stayed back till now. I think it's already been what close to 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Yeah, 50 minutes. And uh, this is what we have done as of now. Okay. And uh, So I was talking about using a slightly smaller brush, right? So I think I will do that. And uh, to create that ripple effect.
do let me know in the comment section guys if you uh, enjoyed this session and if you want me to perhaps create many more paintings like this maybe do a lot more uh, an architecture or a portrait or a lot of uh, a life study okay the thing about painting is you know you can go on and on and on adding details and uh, sometimes as artists we are never satisfied right we just want to go, you know just go on and do it want to make it better and that's when sometimes we spoil the painting also i'm sure all of you would have uh, experienced that as well right so it's very important also to understand where to stop Have you noticed that you know sometimes a half done painting is more beautiful than a, a completed painting? I, I don't know. I, I feel it that way, you know. A half done painting sometimes looks so amazing than a completed painting. Um, so yeah, I think we have to strike a balance between you know how much detail, how much fine-tuning we really have to do or when do we have to really stop painting so i think that's more important yeah so a lot of detail has already been done <laughs> what do we have to do now I don't know what it is, maybe like it looks like a life jacket, but yeah, has a very bright uh, effect. All right, folks, so I'm going to wrap this up in next few minutes. Um, as I said, my idea was to just showcase the blocking process of the painting. And I'm almost completing the blocking process here. And this is not the end of the painting. Um, of course, I can just leave it here the way it is. Because when you step back and look at it, right, it still looks uh, quite good. However, if I want to add more details, I can do it. I can probably let this dry for a couple of days and then come back and paint over this and add a lot more details. I usually, you know, prefer doing that. I paint quite fast during this blocking stage and then I 
come back when i paint over this next time i'll be slightly more attentive careful and because i'll be doing finishing touches however uh, you can complete a painting in just one sitting as well that is called as a la prima where you know you are just working wet on wet and finishing the painting in just one sitting i think you should all try that because you know that is certainly going to improve your um observation skill your eye and hand coordination it is going to challenge you in a way that you wouldn't have experienced before so do try to complete a painting in just one sitting in a matter of couple of hours and uh, i'm sure that will be a great lesson for all of you if you haven't tried it already okay mm -hmm. All right guys I think I'm going to stop here <laughs> I can go on and on and paint for the next uh, couple of hour also but I think yeah this looks quite satisfactory as a first uh, block in stage and uh, I will go through this canvas I'm going to my hometown tomorrow so I will not be working on this um, for the next few days maybe once i'm back from hometown i will look at it and i'll see if i have to add any final touch up so here it is guys um let me just turn the painting i hope you guys can see it clearly okay so maybe once it is all done once i'm back from my hometown i will try to give a final touch up i'm sure it is not uh, visible to you guys the way it is the way i can see it here because maybe because of the camera quality and all that but what i'll do i'll take a high resolution picture and i'll post it on my instagram on youtube <clears throat> community post as well so uh, please let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed it if you did and if you learned a little bit um, like the video do subscribe to the channel and uh, tell your friends uh, those who are interested in art you know they can check out my page as well because i'm planning to create many many more um, live artworks like this and share whatever i know with all of you guys so thank you so much for once again joining this thank you guys good night